My coverage of Computex 2016 is proudly sponsored by Fractal Design, MSI, and G-Skill. All right guys, I'm over at Bits Power and I've decided to do a video all about water cooling and just some of the water cooling stuff that I've seen here at Computex because uh, I've been kind of more into it lately. So I had to come by Bits Power. They have some epic builds here, some modded systems that are absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you a lot of those at the end. First off, I'm going to head over to a couple other locations. So why don't we check out Alpha Cool. Continuing my water cooling tour, I'm here at Alpha Cool. They are out of Germany and they have some uh, fun new products. So let's start off with this one right here. This is called the Eischola. Uh, all of their product names are in German, and I've been having a difficult time pronouncing them, so I originally thought it said ice, ice hole. Asshole? I don't know. Anyway, uh, basically this is an external radiator, 360 millimeter, so you get 320 millimeter fans in there. It's got a reservoir up on top. It's got some Alpha Cool lighting down at the bottom in blue, and you can basically set this up externally if you have a small system and you're doing water cooling and you don't have enough space in there for radiators, or you just need more heat dissipation. Uh, you can grab that and place it somewhere outside your case. So there you go. Next up we have some new fittings. These are the Eisfappen. Eisfappen. I, I apologize to any of my German viewers for my terrible German pronunciation. Alphacool was introduced to me by my good friend Jay, Jay's Two Cents, and uh, I've learned a lot about water cooling from him, and he works with Alphacool, and he has uh, provided me actually with some Alphacool fittings in the past. Now, what he said about them was that they were very rock solid as far as performance. He never really had any issues as with leaks or anything like that. However, he did have some issues as far as the logos that were on them and uh, certain wibbly wobbliness, so to speak. But their new types of fittings are much, much better designed and they're much, much better put together. In particular, the, they have this black finish on them, which is very clean, and they've gone with a laser etching for the logos on them, which is going to hold up over time much, much better than a printed uh, logo that might go over the top. So, new fittings from, uh, from Alpha Cool. Again, they're called Eisapfen. 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 Anyway. Here's something that might be a little bit more practical. If you don't want to do a full custom loop, you can kind of go in between. This is the Ice Bear, and uh, these are made for expandable closed loop cooling. So they use Gianna quarter fittings. They even have quick disconnects that are integrated there as well. Uh, these are actually similar to the uh, Iceberg coolers that uh, Cooler Master used to have. Uh, Alpha Cool actually worked with Cooler Master for those in particular. They, of course, uh, have the pump, which is down there in the bottom. It's got a little clear window so you can see through. So what's going on in there. And, I, and uh, Alpha Cool has actually added a light via the Alpha Cool logo that's on top of each pump slash block unit. Uh, that light will turn off if the uh, pump happens to fail, which is a very nice feature to have because you can't always tell if you have pump failure. And it's something you definitely want to catch really soon, especially if you don't want to deal with your CPU overheating or something like that. Uh, anyway, these have all copper radiators and uh, they're gonna be available with 120 millimeter radiators, 240, 360, as well as 280. And lastly, let's take a look at the GPX Pro. This is an expandable GPU all-in-one unit. So you get the pump that's actually integrated as part of that large aluminum block there. The pump does have a copper block on the bottom. The aluminum part is gonna go over the GPU and it's gonna help keep cool all of the parts that need to be kept cool apart from the GPU, such as power delivery VRMs. AlphaCool already has this available in a ton of different variants for a ton of different types of GPUs. They even told me that uh, if you happen to have a GPU and they don't have the design for it available, you can send them your graphics card. They'll use that to uh, create a 3D model to create a new one, and then they'll send you one for free, just to, to, for helping them out with the R&D by sending them uh, your GPU for them to check out, which is pretty nice. Uh, that, the other cool thing about it is that that uh, pump unit at the center can be removed as sort of a standard size. So if you happen to upgrade your GPU, but you want to keep your same pump and loop, you can just swap out the uh, aluminum part, drop it in a new GPU, and then drop that uh, pump part back in there, and you're good to go. It's even available in a variety of colors. So uh, this is the actual GPU standalone version that we're looking at right here. It doesn't come with the all-in-one unit, but it still uses that same central uh, copper block slash pump. So here we have a bunch of different varieties in different colors. They have red, they have green, they have blue. You can't order the colors individually. You need to sort of group up. They do have to do them in a little, in a little batch. I suggested maybe they try Master Up for that. That might be, might be kind of useful. Um, but as we can see here, we got a red version that's made for Fury. Uh, we have a blue version that's made for a GTX 970. And we have a large green version that I don't know, I don't know what GPU that's for. It's for a large GPU. Uh, and yes, it does come with a back plate as well, as you can see here in this yellow version. Very nice. Some cool water cooling products from Alpha Pool. 
guys, I'm here at ID Cooling, and basically I came here because I saw the video that Wendell and Kane made over here. Uh, so I'm stealing from Tech Syndicate. Well, not really, but ID Cooling, uh, they're currently based out of China. They actually distribute to areas of Asia, South America, uh, not necessarily the US, although I've heard you can get some of their products from uh, like eBay and that kind of thing. Anyway though, I wanna talk about the stream series of cases since this is, you know, my liquid cooling video. And these are interesting concepts for liquid cooling chassis. So the first one we're looking at here is the Stream 2. This one is actually in production and mass production. Yeah. Basically what they've done is they've taken an aluminum frame chassis. This is a similar sort of concept, I think, to the in-wind chassis. But what they've done with the aluminum is, is they've treated the inside of it and they've routed uh, water cooling through the chassis. So uh, there's different channels, there's different inlets and outlets that you can pipe the liquid cooling into. It'll go over and through to a different area of the chassis and it'll come out. And uh, since it's treated inside, even though it's aluminum, you can mix it with, with uh, copper blocks and that kind of thing. So you're not gonna get any mixed metals issues. And it's just, uh, it's a unique concept. Here's another system with the Stream 1. This is available in red, of course. And uh, again, this is the same general concept, um, but now it's in red. It's a different shape. What do you guys think? Now, honestly, I was looking very closely at this because I know aluminum uh, is difficult to work with, especially if you're welding. The welds on here exactly aren't exactly the prettiest that I've ever seen. This one is actually more of a proof of concept. So this is the Stream 4 that we're looking at right now. Uh, this one is also in red. This one's Mini ITX, uh, but you can see power supply drives go down there at the bottom. Uh, you also have a graphics card in there. I think they're using some GPUs and stuff from Colorful and. You know, stuff, again, that you can't get in the U.S. since this is uh, based out of China. Uh, this one has a unique feature, though, in that it also has a, uh, a monitor mount. So you can position this on your desk, put the monitor on the back of it, and then uh, people walking by your desk would be like, holy crap, you have a really cool computer on your desk. And finally, here's a look at the Stream 3. The Stream 3, this one's in blue. This one's very eye-catching. Uh, I like the way they have the radiator positions. It's right there across the top, 360 uh, millimeter radiator, of course. And uh, for this one, I actually know exactly how the uh, liquid channels will work. Basically, even though you have these two uh, that are side by side right here, it's, it's split in the middle. So you would go in here, then it goes across the top over to the other side. Or you can go in here, it'll go down along the bottom rail, and then it comes out right there in the middle. And of course, the other one from the middle goes over and up the other side. ID Cooling has indicated to me that they are interested in uh, entering the North American markets and uh, they even suggested that they might be able to send me one of these. So let me know in the comment section, guys, if you think it would be cool to build a system with one of, one of these stream chassis and let me know which one you think would be best. Oh, one last thing I wanted to point out um, is the notice there's a little a flow indicator down here at the bottom of this one. They're talking about doing something to give you a better visual um, in the actual aluminum tubing itself. So possibly maybe a flow indicator or something like that across the top. I think that'd be a good idea. Anyway guys, let me know uh, which of these you like best. Okay, now I'm back over at Bits Power as promised and um, I think I want to start off by sharing a few of the new products. Uh, first off, fittings. Bits Power is very known for really high quality fittings. They have kind of a new finish on their fittings now. It's available in a wide variety of colors and available of course for uh, hard tubing or soft tubing or any kind of fittings you need to go in between any of those. I really like the finish on them. They do have the Bits Power logo still. It's a little bit more subdued I think which is kind of nice and uh, we've seen these used in some of these epic builds that they have around here so I think it's going to be a great option as opposed to the standard finish that we've seen them using for quite some time. I also noticed a few GPU blocks that they have here. We of course have the reference GTX 1080 water block that just came out. So great that they have one available here and it's a different sort of variety than we've seen before. It has sort of a black on there and then the clear acrylic as well you can see through. I think it looks pretty nice. Granted it was behind a glass case so I couldn't really pull it out and get it, give it a full once over but uh, I like it. Very clean look overall. They also did a special version of uh, M for MSI's specific version of the GTX 1080 and 1070. So for MSI's custom PCB, you'll be able to get those very soon as well since those are actually coming to the market. The 1080 should be available from MSI uh, within the next one to two weeks or so I am told. Now we also have a really, really awesome mono block here. It's actually a combo block, mono block for the MSI Godlike Gaming motherboard. Um, I just saw this and I looked really cool and I like mono blocks and I have this motherboard. So I'm gonna see if 
Bits Power will send me one of these, but we'll worry about that later. So some pretty cool new products here from Bits Power, but I'm gonna end this video as I have ended uh, a couple of the videos of my Computex coverage already with just a montage of some really, really epic modded systems. I hope you guys aren't getting bored of epic, mo epic modded systems and me showing you montages of them. If you are, I, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to keep doing it. Anyway, here's some really, really cool systems by Bits Power. Um, they did a fantastic job. I want to say one last shout out and thank you to my sponsors for this event, MSI, Fractal Design, and G-Skill. Give them a thumbs up. Uh, click their sponsor link down in the description down below. And uh, hey, if you enjoyed my Computex videos, let me know by leaving me a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.